Right, we're on a different box. Fingers crossed it'll work completely differently. So, let me just introduce you to the cameraman who works with his, my younger brother. <laughs> Give us a little wave, <laughs> Dad. Here he is, look. How are we doing? Ooh, looks all right, actually. It looks really good. It's working well. Right, so, fingers crossed, we're on the upstairs box. Let's see if it works better. Right, where was it? Oh, yes. The first product tonight we'll be using is Fat Muck Blowout Mousse. So, the important thing with this is that you use the amount of the size of a golf ball. So again, it's quite a foamy product. You can see it's quite nice, it sticks to the comb. Now what this will do is one of two things. It will actually uh, coat the hair as like a leave-in conditioner. So if we were to spray this into a glass, it would then disperse and turn into conditioner. If we were to not put this on the hair, it would be interesting to cut, but it's, it's easier to cut because you can use it to see the natural fall in the hair. So you want to be able to sort of see how everything falls. And when I want to say natural fall in the hair, you can move it around with your fingers and see how the hair cut drops into position. So that's really important when you're doing this because you want to, as a hairdresser, you want to be able to see how the hair cut's working. I'll use the, um, the hard muck later and that'll also produce that same effect. Right, so now working from the recession area going through the parietal ridge, which is Ross Cunningham's favourite bone that we like to work with. So the nice thing also is that the product allows you to promote, that's a good word that isn't it, a clean line. Let's see if I've calmed down now. So um, it pr promotes a clean line which is what you want to be able to do, do while you're working because then you can then see where you're going. So we're going to subdivide this off now into a horseshoe section. Just again, a lot of people don't know where horseshoe sections are, so imagine it's like a plate that you're putting through the head. Tend to start from the right coming through to the left, and that just tends to work a little bit better. So let's just clean this round a minute just to make sure everything works well. At this point now I use three clips for the simple fact it just keeps everything really, really clean and tidy. Okay, now this is where it will change slightly through this side because we need to just get a slight curve in there. Now the reason we're putting a curve in is because it's telling me that when I do the cut on the top here, I'm going to be turning my hand slightly and I'm going to be coming round at an angle to create that shape that's coming into the face, which is what we talked about earlier. So that now is set up with a slight bend on this side. Now as I always say, when we start on the actual haircut, it divides into two pieces. You could probably come around this side, actually. Oh, okay. That's it. Magic. Right, who's on there tonight, Dad? Let's see if there's anybody on. Here we go. Kai Eisen. Kai Eisen, nice to see you with us tonight. Hello, Kai. Great to see you. Hope you're well. I'm looking forward to seeing you sing at some point, which will be great. Jackie oh. Fretson. Jackie Fretson. Happy birthday for yesterday. I nearly did forget, I'm really sorry. I did send you a message. Nice to see you, sis. Right, so we're working on quadrants now. So we've got one piece here, which is one quadrant, two quadrant, three and four. So the important part of this is that the thumb leads, so we're talking about body position and how it works. Stacey Moss. Stacey Moss, nice to see you. Good evening up the top end of the village there. Hope you're well. Hope Josh is good too. David Beckwith. David Beckwith, nice to see you, big man. Hope you're okay, looking forward to getting on Primal. That'll be really cool to see on there. Hope you're well, my friend. So, you can see now I'm going to the second knuckle. This cut will be quite similar to yours when I did your hair with the back, with the thinning scissors. Same technique. So now we're moving round. So it's a travelling guide. So what we're doing is working with uh, six, seven, eight and nine o'clock. Donna Morris. Donna Morris. Happy birthday for today. I hope you're well. Big evening to Kev as well. Hope he's okay. I hope you're having a great Davis. birthday. Christy Davis, great to see you tonight. I hope you're okay. Hopefully the jailers are all right as well. Michelle Bailey. Michelle Bailey. Nice to see you. Mrs. Bailey, I hope you and Lloyd are very well tonight. They're all coming on tonight. It's, it's mega. It really is, that's it, mate. From Tenerife. T from, good, oh yeah, of course you're over there on Tenerife with your mum. I hope you're both all right. I hope your mother's well too and enjoying the sunshine. Like, send us a message and tell us how warm it is, because uh, we'd like to know. Because it's fairly cold over here. But I hope you're having a great time. I did see your photos. Charlotte Ann. Charlotte Ann, our lovely Saturday lady. Great to see you, Charlotte. You'll be our next model. I'll text you later on and let you know what, what day and time. 
Alright, so now you can see we're moving around here. Everything's moving quite nicely. And again, it's a travelling guide, as I say, as everything moves around, you get that shape in there. So it's important to get the foundation you can see I'm cutting to the second knuckle no further past that, otherwise you will find that A, you'll cut yourself and you'll lose the tension. So now as we come through here, we'll just do a little cross check just to make sure everything's nice and clean. Chris Allen. Chris Allen, one of our previous models. Great to see you, Chris. Hope your beard's looking good still. I thought it looked very good the other day. You shaped it up, it looked really smart. Well done for that. You must be on about day 17 of doing your beard. But yes, yeah, looking good, my man. Nice to have you with us again tonight. Matthew uh, pal. Sidwell. Matthew Sidwell. Great to see you. I must say, your disco cars look very good and uh, very, very inspiring what you're doing. Well done. Keep it up. Very positive. So now you can see the shape just coming through. So have all these people that you have to remember all these individual things. It's really important, you know, a lot with guests that come in to remember everything. It's really important so just coming through the sides you're not gonna go sleep are you no, no. <laughs> just I making think, yeah. sure with how far you drive <laughs> you never know how far did you drive today uh, about an hour oh, that's, a nice, yeah, that's cool <laughs> excellent very good right coming through the sides then it's really important just to keep your fingers in the right position as Some you can castle. see summer castle one of our previous models hello summer i need to do that uh project for you so if you can remind me that'll be fantastic Good to see you on there tonight, Summer. Summer! Summer! <laughs> One of our previous models. <laughs> They're all on tonight, <laughs> the previous models. It's great. <laughs> it really is. It's nice. It, the, we, we did it, um, the live feed out of Summer's uh, mother's kitchen. Probably saw it. It was Who Lives in a House Like This? <laughs> it was that one. Summer! It was there. <laughs> It was good, and then we did a brother's hair cut two, like, two nights later. Right, there's side one. So we've now got the first side with the foundation in. Let's go around this side and switch over. So I'm not going to go around to so this part. How you Dad, all right? Yep. It's good dad there, amazing dad. Puts himself out a lot. Well done, dad. Give yourself a little wave in the mirror so everybody can see at home. That's it. <laughs> there is look, my younger brother. <laughs> Tell he's younger because of his little blonde eye lights. <laughs> Charlotte, come on yet, Dad. As in Charlotte, our assistant manager, S. She'll be on later watching, making sure that we're uh, conducting ourselves in yeah. the correct manner and professional. <laughs> She'll be telling me off <laughs> otherwise, <laughs> in that respect. So you can see now, obviously, the important part is just keeping the fingers into the, into the nape and making sure that everything's nice and clean as we're coming through to the mastoid process, which is the bone that comes behind the back of the ear which is really important all you have to remember is that it's the angle that's really important that's coming through that keeps everything nice and clean so uh, you can just keep everything nice and tidy and again that's really what it's all about once we've done this um, friends we'll then be going on to the next part then we'll be getting really exciting through the top part we'll then apply the uh, muck hard muck product the paste and blow dry with that in do the blow dry live and then we'll go into the draw relationship of the haircut there'll be very little clipper work in this tonight it's all going to be literally hand cut Nikki Gower. Nikki Gower great to see you thank you so much for your calm words and also for your support which you've given me from you and your husband thank you and of course you've seen me doing the running the pre-running as well so thank you so much sweet I hope you well and your family another previous model Austin Ford. Austin Ford. Well, there's only one 6 p.m. in your world, my friend. I'm guessing you've got a glass of wine in your hand. But great to see Austin. I hope you're really well. Nice to see you with us. Probably killing himself to let to let that see uh, turn around to me when I say there's only one 6 a.m. in the morning. Austin made a video saying there's only one 6 p.m. in the evening, which I thought was quite funny. It was absolutely brilliant. Great humour. Great DJ there as well. So, we're now on to the other side, which we've seen, which is now completed. We're now going to go into the next part. Okay, Dad, we'll switch over to the other side if we can. That's lovely. Everybody are happy? Everybody are right? Magic. Right, so we've now got a shape coming through, which would give us a real strong cut. Now, at this point, if it was quite long, we'd subdivide down the middle section. Instead, what we're going to do now is just go straight in. Now, what we're looking for is a squared angle, just to make sure everything's in there. Somebody just, come on. Could just here, just move your lip. I'm guessing somebody's just come on. Jess O'Donnell. Jess O'Donnell. Great to see you, Jess O'Donnell. How are you? Woo! Yeah. I'd be really well, sweetheart. Great to see you on there tonight. I'm guessing the Emperor's with you. Or is 
doing a PT or something tonight, but uh, yeah, thank you for your support. It's great to see you with us tonight. It's like one big happy family, that's yeah. Saxon Fitness. It really is. Uh, I'm watching to get back in Saxon. I've not done it for two and a half weeks. You can imagine I'm chomping yeah. at the bit. I really am. It's good. And Jess turned around and said, you wait till you've had your first session with Jess. Yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> two and a half years later. <laughs> it's great. Jason Wilson. Jason Wilson. Great to see you, big man. I hope you really want to hope Rachel was really good too. Also, thank you for tuning in tonight. Great to see you with us. So, now we're just coming through this side. We'll just get everything nice and cleaned up. Again, it's all about standing discipline, making sure everything just sits nice. Again, it's that natural fall, as I said, with the products when you're using your hands. Right, let's go to the other side, Dad. It's like, uh, it's like cabaret tonight, isn't it? Like a carousel. So, now just coming through again, keeping everything moving. So everything's got a nice clean section as we're working through it. Because again, clean sections, clean cut. This is the really important part now. Wesley will know more about his hair cut than uh, what he knew before when he leaves tonight. When you watch this back, <laughs> you'll think to yourself, oh, that's how he does it. <laughs> that's really intriguing. Yeah. Hopefully it'll be intriguing to you. Yeah. To people that are non-hairdressers, it's quite interesting because the customers never see, or guests never see what goes into the cut, the discipline, because I'm normally talking about holidays, families that sort of thing and when you sort of yeah. see this it's great and of course to have people around the world watching as well is it even better it's nice so again we've now got the shape through there we're going to subdivide this off just get another pair of scissors now what will happen here is we're going to use uh, a stroking technique now you can see the swirl on the crown is quite strong so what we're going to do now is just lift this up now what we're looking for is if you were cutting it normally you'd lift it up and this would have to be really pulling out at the same angle now if you pull it down you get drag, we don't really want drag so what we're going to do now is just lift it up. Now there's the drag if we have drag but we want everything to be the same length. If we had drag it would be too long so just lift it up, put the scissors in, flick the blade and this produces the same effect as razor cutting but with a pair of scissors. And what you're doing is, I'll break it down for you now, you're producing a soft line on the top of the head and the way you're doing it is bending the fingers because if you don't bend the fingers you'll cut yourself. You're working between that space there, which is to the second knuckle. You're opening and closing the blades on the very end, and what you're doing is literally just flicking it off. So if you can imagine, literally just teasing the end of the hair, and as you're doing that, you are literally then producing the shape. Now, the more you take the blade into the head, the shorter it goes. Obviously, I'm just really sort of being quite cautious with Wesley's hair, just to see how it reacts to the technique. You can just see it's coming off, Give it a little movement with the fingers you can see how it just lies down everything lies nicely it's not sticking out so you know then it's the right length again just pulling it out quite nicely now this works in the same technique in terms of sectioning as what you would get if you were doing a normal haircut on a longer layered haircut so you'd have your middle section then you'd have your next section then you'd have your next section there and then you'd have your next section. it's almost like half a pie the way you look at it right let's move over to the side because the body position again has to be really important. So just wait for my young man just to move around. We're gonna do a marathon by the time I finish with you tonight. Right, so, yeah. oh dear, he's not smiling. <laughs> so again, we're coming out the next way, watching for the drag and then flicking over the top. Now the beautiful thing about this technique is stroke cutting. You can use your finger at any position you want to. Now when I say that, you can twist it around. So you don't have to cut this way, you can cut any way you want to cut. With the technique, it allows you to move once you've enabled yourself to be able to do it. Some of the viewers tonight are actually probably hairdressers I've taught this technique to in a previous life when I worked for a previous product company. But again, you can see now the technique and the texture. You can see the movement in there as it's starting to lie under the light. I've got LED lights, you should be able to see it even better. Right, so now we're going to work through the top. And what we're doing is creating this bend through the top so I'm just going to go in here now and do this hopefully you'll be able to see it so I'll do it as slow as I can for you and again it's really just holding on to the hair as you're doing it remember friends what it's doing is it's creating two things shape and texture at the same time trust me you've got to concentrate on what you're doing with this technique because if you do not you will take a piece out of your finger so you've got to be very very careful has anybody else come on tonight dad yeah, Who else has joined us tonight? Let's let's have a little listen to uh, who's on there tonight. Who's there? Who's there? I'll shout them out as they come. Okay. 
I've got, I've got two on there at the minute, but two, but when it's not moved up, so. Oh, is it not? Okay. Just bear with me. <laughs> I am, don't worry. <laughs> we are, we are bearing with you. You carry on cutting. I am. Charlie Brooks. Charlie Brooks! Ooh, Charlie Brooks, great to see on there, Charlie Brooks. Legend. Great to see him. Andy Hardy. Andy Hardy. Big mate, I'll need you on there, big mate. Great to see you, big mate. Limerie Atkinson, I'm guessing you've got sound coming from your Galaxy S7 and your picture from your iPhone. Also, let's not forget a big good evening. Dad just put the camera over. Just a big good evening to Cara and also not forgetting Grace. Nice to see you on there tonight. I'm hoping you're both all right. And Grace is uh, having a great time tonight. Mentioned by name and hopefully still my friend as well. Hello friend, mini friend, it's really important. Right, so now you can see as I'm doing this, I'm going through with this technique now. As you can see, I'm turning in and the fingers are coming in, this just creates the shape. Now this obviously produces the same effect as a razor blade, but with a pair of scissors. So as I say, you've just got to really just pull it away from the fringe just to keep that length on it. How you doing Dad, how's your arms? Yep. Excellent, good stuff. You're doing really well. I need to take you out for a steak dinner actually at some point. So I promised you I'd take you out for that. Right, so let's just have a quick little look. Just there you can see the shape just coming through. Right, let's switch to the other side now. So what we've got to do now is we've got half of it completed. We're now going to come around to the pot. You might need to film it on that side because then you can catch me. Right, so here we go. So now it's going to come through. We reverse cut this way now, so it's going to come in and just flip the blade off on it. And again, this doesn't really curve that much, but you want to just be able to put some shape in. In fact, we'll put the camera to the side, you might see it better. What I'll do is I'll come round, and then you can move to my side here. That's it, if you come over here. So if you'd like to come over this side, there you go. Right, let me just see if I can bend round, that's it. Right, there you go, that's perfect. How about that? You can get your little selfie stick in there now. How's that? <laughs> Hopefully that's better for the viewers at home. When you're a teacher, you have to think about how people can sort of see what's going on if you're teaching a pupil, which I think is really important. Lynn Marie Atkinson. Lynn Marie Atkinson. I'm sat in a Chinese takeaway watching. Oh, are you? Excellent. Which one is it? <laughs> is it in Barwell or is it in Hill Shilton? <laughs> that's the question. I love it. Excellent stuff. What did they say to you? 10 minute or 20 minute? Lee Wright. Lee Wright, great to see you on there. Lee Wright tonight. This is where I'd like you to be in this position in a few weeks, Lee. Great to see you, brother. It's one of my fellow brethren. You and Darren. It'd be good to see you on here live. So we all joke about it. Um, Lee came up to me the other week when we'd done a ceremony and then come straight into the, the, uh, the main bar and, and gives it. Woo! It's absolutely hilarious. I love it. So funny. <laughs> So yes, Lee, nice to see you up here with us doing this. Right, so now we've joined the last part. So we're working really in a clock system as this works. So you've got really pivoting round from nine to 12, then 12 to three. Right, now I'm gonna go through the opposite way. And really jo just slice jo Joanne Hutchinson. Joanne Hutchinson, nice to see you with us tonight. I hope you're really well. Let's just come through this way. Right, so let me just go through the opposite way now. So now we're just slicing, and what's happening with this now is we're actually going in and slicing with the blades closing. What that does is you just have to be really careful again that you don't slice a chunk out of your fingers. So you can see the consistency of the cuts there already, but what we're doing is really just putting more texture in it, just to make it look that little bit more choppier. And again, checking it off, this is cross-checking, but the opposite way, which most people are used to cutting that way which people will be thinking now, well, why are you doing it that way? Well, because with channel cutting, it makes the hair lie forward as you're doing it, so it allows you to get more texture in the haircut. This is actually more complicated to cut, but you know, my work is complicated, but it produces the right results for my guests, so that's what we're after. In Garner. In Garner, great to see you tonight. I hope you're really well. Great to see you on there with us tonight. Carl Sky. Cole, great to see you with us also tonight. I hope you're really well, Cole. Thank you for joining us. So now you can see that we've got a lot of texture in there and it's starting to move around a bit. And we've also preserved the length. Wesley's smiling as well. Right, twist cutting now. I'm just going to go in on the shank of the blade. Slice away just a little bit. 
and what that does there is just gives us a really nice texture on the hair and again it allows so again some of you may think well why are you doing this the idea is this is an old Tony Gore cutting technique actually from London what it does is, is you twist it and cut into that it allows the hair to move around so if you've got long hair it gives it more texture and gives it height if it's short hair it also gives it a lot of texture and a little light but what I'm after really is that broken textured effect so it just keeps the length but again you can see as I move it around it really gives it a nice shape through there I'm guessing CJ Jones will be on there at some point tonight and I'm also guessing that Justina is on there as well watching right thinning scissors 29 teeth are generally on thinning scissors and one blade so what you're going to do now is just very lightly just stroke it over the cut just to seal in a lot of cooking steak really just to seal in the edges just to make sure that everything just sits nice and then what we'll do then is we'll run it through the middle panel and then we've got a little trick for the fringe so if you remember we've kept the length on the fringe but we just need to make sure it scoops just a little bit round there so just making it a little bit more jagged on the ends again so really do like making hair jagged I'm a big fan of this especially on uh, hair like Wesley's it's really important to put as much texture in there as you can just to make it look softer Sharon Thomas Benton Sharon great to see you Mrs Benson for bed it's great to see you on there oh sorry Mrs Benton. Thomas Benton great to see you with us tonight I'm guessing Mike's there or he's away but great to see you looking forward to seeing you at Primal welcome to my world tonight it's great to see you it's all good, it's all good. Another one that likes to call me Scotty. It's all good. Right, so we all can really see the movement now. Right, curved scissors. Got a nice little bend on this, so you can see the bend there. So we're going to create a nice convex shape through the fringe. So let's just take the edge off there. Right, what this does now is just make sure that the length on the fringe is the correct length, because I need it to be accurate and I need it to be even. So now what I'm going to do is use a little trick. And the trick is this, as the fringe grows out, I need it to be able to perform correctly. So what we're going to do is just go behind the fringe. Now we're just going to go in at the root, squeeze it a few times, but keep the blade moving. So the idea is it's going round as I'm doing it. So it's not taking too much hair off, but what it's doing is now, it's creating a bend in the fringe. So when Wesley comes to style it himself, what will happen is it will be easier to style so all of a sudden the front now joins to the back better and it creates a really nice effect now most people will think to themselves how can you do that and why can you not take too much hair out plain and simply just keep the blade moving you can use thinning scissors on any length of hair but as long as you keep that blade moving when you're doing it if you keep it in the same spot what will happen is it will just not do anything right before we bring in the next product on the wardrobe we'll just bring in a uh, razor blade what I'm going to do now with this is just lightly just glide it off the root so you sort of hear it. What we're doing now is using like a C shape as we're doing it just to create that effect. Let me just see if I can get the camera to the side a bit and you can see what I'm doing. Let's just have a look. I'll just bring the blade in. As you can see I'm just really just gliding it in there. Harvey Smith. Harvey Smith, great to see you, Harvey. How are we? <laughs> Really great to see you. Thank you so much for your message of the night. I really hope Julia's great and the children too. I miss you too, mate. Thank you so much for that message and uh, hopefully I'll see you in America soon. Great to see you. Harvey Smith all the way from America there. So now what we're doing now is just using the blade and this is just really just cutting a little bit more. Now what we'll do is we'll then come in slightly with the blade. Sharon McCaffrey. Sharon McCaffrey. Nice to see you, sweetheart. I hope you're well. I hope Nick's well as well. If you're at home, Hopefully the cats have given you a space on the sofa tonight. Right, so now we'll go through the edges. Coming from all over tonight, Desford, America, Tenerife. <laughs> it's great. Right, so now we can see the basis of the shape. Now when we put the product in, we should be able to see a little bit better. So one of the reasons why I use, um, so we'll bring in the next product. So we're gonna use a little bit of uh, paste hard muck, which is what started muck off the company. So I've just put it on my hand. So. The, the nice thing about blow drying with paste is a lot of people think to themselves, well, why do you blow dry with paste? Well, why indeed? Um, you can see now straight away, you can see the texture. You should see that really starting to shape up with a cut. Now, I can see where I'm going with it, and also when I blow dry this into the hair, 
it will give us a really nice matte effect. It's also humidity resistant. So one well, of the nice things is you can actually see what's going on with the shape. Who's that, Dad? I'll be sitting, sitting there watching us nice having a beer. <laughs> Excellent. Enjoy it, my friend. It's well earned. <laughs> I should imagine you've been uh, cooking all day. Let's just get the hair dry. Yeah. Glenda. Hello, darling. I hope you're really well. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing you later. And uh, I'm sure it'll be a fantastic dinner. Enjoy yourself watching. Woo! And I want to say also, um, thank you so much for your support, what you've given me with the mouth and with what you do with everything. I just want you to know that and I love you very much. Thank you. So, we're now just going to do the blow dry. So, everything on full speed, watching how everything moves. So it's a question of just thinking to yourself, really, the direction of how you want the hair to go. So what we'll do is just push it one way, push it the other way. The idea is it encourages the fringe to flick up more. So just come out this way. And you can then sort of see how everything's working. It's quite quick. The idea is you put the, uh, the paste on and blow dry in immediately. And it just creates a nice shape. Right, now this part here, over this way first. This is just a great way to produce lift on the fringe. Left and right, constant left. And then all you do then is tease it with the brush. Just pop it underneath, hold it, rock it, hold it. And then all you do then is just lift the lift, lift it up and you can see the effect all of a sudden it starts to lift and starts to produce that really nice natural print that everybody likes. Now the idea is you place it in a position where you want it to be so then you can sort of see where you want the hair to, to be placed. So the idea being that when I look at this now I can see how it's starting to shape up and where it's starting to go. So let's just have a quick look. You can start to see it's moving in the right direction. Now I can see this is not going to be too difficult to style. So let's get stuck into it. So this is where I'll start getting more interesting for everybody. We're actually going to scissor over comb with thinning scissors. I did this a while ago on Lewis Brown's hair and also on a few others. David Beckwith was another one. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the large part of the comb first and then go in with the thinner part of the comb. Now what will happen is this will actually look, there's like a bulk of weight through here. We're going to take all this out. This will all be hand cut tonight. There'll be no clippers on here unless I decide to nudge it into the edges and clean a bit off there. But this will all be hand cut tonight with a pair of thinning scissors, which is tricky in itself as I'm sure you can imagine but again I really want to showcase how you can use thinning scissors to create a nice strong shape and you can also emphasize product on it as well let's just see if I can move my hand slightly towards the camera a bit I could have gone with a skin fade which I you know Sean McCaffrey is probably thinking to himself why don't you just put a skin fade on there and Wesley's really good because he just let me sort of do whatever within reason but I just think it's quite nice to do something that's actually quite challenging for me as well as what's different who's that dad jessica pickering jessica pickering Woo, Scotty. Woo, jessica pickering great to see you on there sweetheart looking forward to seeing you at uh promal this is what they all do on promal you'll get excited linda hamilton linda hamilton great to see you linda hope you're really well i'm guessing you're either in prague or at home but Great pictures, I have to say, great photographer. I'm sure you had a nice time away there. Or you're having a nice time away. Good to see you on there, one of our own stylists from the salon. It's good. Don't worry, I'll inform you who's who, because you're probably <laughs> thinking who are these people. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good. So now you can start to see the shape starting to build up. So again, what you've got to do is make sure you keep the blades moving, because you're only taking, with thinning scissors, you're only taking out 50% of the hair at a time. So it's imperative that you keep the blades moving constantly. Because if you don't, you, you really cannot get the shape. Now, later on when we finish the haircut, we will actually show the pictures later on of how the haircut looks and you can then sort of see how it all fits together nicely when we do the photos outside the back. We should appear either tonight or tomorrow in the next few days. 
Are you feeling that wrong? Yeah, good. Good. Feels good, good. Have you learned anything about it or not? Yes, I have. Excellent. <laughs> good, I'm going to be asking you questions later. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's not being at school. <laughs> Tell you what, this is lot of school. It is. It's yeah. a school for hair. That's what it was set up as, and then it became a communication network. <laughs> as well for Saxon Fitness. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. As long as people learn something, it's not being frightened to take it to the next level. I mean, this is something I've never seen being done before, cutting scissors over comb with thinning scissors. It's, um, you know, sort of like I say, it's gone to the extreme, really. But you've got to try things that are different and make it interesting. And then, hair's like theatre. As I always say, um, it's uh, theatrical, and if you're doing something that's different, it creates a different image and a different feel, and people can actually sort of embrace that and enjoy both the people that are wearing it and the people that are watching it being done. So it just creates a really nice feel. That's what it's all about. Who else has joined us, Dad? Anybody else? Kate Howard. Kate Howard, I knew you'd be on there at some point. Hello, Kate. Great to see you. There you go, look, just for your benefit. I know you'll be wanting to see it. There you go, Kate. It's the, uh, yeah, there you go. I know you were concerned about whether or not I'd get to the end. There you go. I'm sure you've seen the photos. <laughs> Good to see you there with us tonight, all the way from nearly at Bury St Edwards tonight. Make sure you give Rick some stick when he comes in. Ask him about his girlfriend. <laughs> He'll probably go, probably go mad now. <laughs> it's all good fun. So just cleaning up around the edges. Again, this is all scissor over comb with thinning scissors. Just keeps it very soft, but you're looking for that velvety sort of finish is what it's all about it's just a nice finish on the hair and with the light on once this hair tonight as well you can really see it right so round here now coming around the back here he comes he's coming around shuffling around you started the old show and shuffling them right? <laughs> you have the the Harlem shuffle yeah, do the El Shilton shuffle has Joseph Sanson come on yet no not yet he'll be on soon that's the George Michael tribute man oh yeah he'll be on soon later at some point they all turn. Has Dan, Mac Dan Metcalf come on yet? Yeah? No. Oh, really? He's probably out with his Mercedes cap on, working out. Has Nick McCaffrey come on yet? Yeah? No. Oh, he's probably away. No, probably away with Wolfgang, working tonight. So, he's come on earlier. He's gone on Nick, there. if you're watching, I'm sorry. Dad didn't probably see you. But good evening if you're there, if you're with Wolfgang. Say hello to Wolfgang for me. It's always good to have you on there. He gets an alert on his phone, so I should imagine he'll know that I'm on. Right, so coming through this side now, you can see I'm really working it. As we're coming through, you can really see the strength in the cut now. If you come around the angled edge, you'll sort of see it, how it's coming through the strength in the cut. Again, this is with thinning scissors. There's no tricks. It literally is as tough as it gets. This is. The secret is make sure you've got a good pair of thinning scissors when you do this because if you've not, you really will be struggling. Especially if they chew at the hair. So keep your blades sharp and regular. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And keep them moving as well when you're doing it because the important thing is you've got to keep them moving because you are really going through quite a lot of hair whilst you're doing this. And again, you can really start to see a nice big change with this. As, as we start going at it, you can really start to see a nice feel on there. Anybody had any questions tonight? Has any, any questions come on now? No, no, somebody else was asking about a pair of scissors earlier. Oh, well. I'll have a look later. I'll go back through the messages and I'll put that message back to you privately and see if I can help you. Japanese, if you ask me what kind of scissors I use, they're always Japanese scissors. I don't use anything else but Japanese scissors. Full Wolfgang's watching from Germany, sorry. But I do a lot of Japanese scissors. Mm -hmm. Made the same way as samurai swords and uh, they're normally. Ice. Lucy Cole. Lucy Cole! Woo! Lucy! Great to see you, Lucy. Hope you're okay and I hope the great AC is good as well. I think we are coming tomorrow night to the new plough in. I know you've asked the question, so I believe we are going to be joining you late, uh, later tomorrow night. Well, I will be certainly later. But uh, yeah, nice to see you on there tonight. Lucy! So good. Another one from Saxon. Good to know them all. You're not a Moulton from Saxon. Yeah. It's all good. <laughs> You're not going to go sleep. <laughs> right, so as we're coming through now, again, you can really see the shape coming through again. 
if you come right in on this dad you can see we're using thinning scissors so there's no tricks tonight friends it's, it really is for real this is I was always taught use learn to use a real pair of scissors first before you use a pair of thinning scissors you can actually do more damage with a pair of thinning scissors than you can with a real pair of scissors believe it or not if you cut to work the same spot continually you'll end up having a bolt patch so you've got to be quite careful if we just pop the camera over to this side that might be a little bit better is that all right dad that'll be a little bit easier there we go that's a bit easier you can really see now where the lights coming on so you can just see what's happening so again with this you can change the position of the blade so angle it whichever way you want to angle it and you can also make hair look thicker with it you can also make hair look thinner as well so that's something also to think about with a pair of scissors you can actually make hair look completely different which is quite interesting I, I use that technique quite a bit on men with thinning hair and people with thick hair just alter the pitch of the blade that's what I say just experiment with it see what it will do for you you'll find yourself how it works it's like getting in a brand new car and changing gear with a different rev and bite you, everything's completely different with a pair of scissors it's different so you just have to learn what your perimeters are with it there you go it's look at that's looking uh, really shaping up already yeah coming from you that's like a knighthood <laughs> that's, <good. laughs> that's it <laughs> did tell you this month <laughs> Then natural, that's what it should be. Right, so as we're coming in low now, we're just going low into the neck. Just get some of this out. Remember, we've not used any clippers at all. This is all purely what you'll see now. Live, if you've just joined, is, is literally a pair of thinning scissors, and this is what you can do with them. Literally, just thinning scissors on their own. If you go to your normal hairdresser and say, Can you scissor over comb my hair with thinning scissors? They'll probably die of shock and say, Well, I've never seen that before. I've never done that before. If uh, anybody does say they, they do do it then they are very unique <laughs> but uh, certainly if you like the technique and you want to have it done yourself then by all means ask for it and um, if you are a hairdresser and want to do something different then try it it's a nice technique something very different it's also exciting to use uh, a tool in a different way but again that's what people pay for the privilege of having something that's done differently um, you know, and the approach is different, and the feel is different, and the way it grows out is different. Buster Dalton, good to see you with us, Buster. I hope you're really well, my friend. I'm guessing you're up at uh, Buster Heights tonight, up at the uh, Chateau de Buster. Yeah. Nice to see you with us. Well, Mike, great to see you tonight. I hope you're really well, brother. Um, I'm guessing you're from Spain tonight, or you're from abroad, if not. Um, if you're in the UK, I hope you're well, and I hope the family's well too. Good to see you, Mike. Oh yeah, proposal for the mason. Let's <laughs> make sure he's up there. That's what it's all about. My second proposal is not on Facebook. <laughs> he won't be joining us unless he's there with uh, Mark tonight. This is it. So you can now see as we're coming round, it's really cleaning up. Just a little bit more. Again, it's just making sure this is very visual. So now we're going in on the tighter part of the comb because you really want to get this as tight as you can. And again, it's looking for that velvet feel. As I did say earlier on, we'll use the clippers to clean up around the ears and just in the very bottom part. But you can really sort of see now just how this is cleaned up just a little bit more. And like I said to you, it's got a velvet feel, hasn't it? You see that lot velvet thing with light because it's a three-dimensional shape. So you're able to see exactly how the, the shape sort of fits into place, which is what it's all about. Well, let's go through the top now with the thinning scissors. So. We're now just going to remove a little bit of bulk out of this. That's what I tend to call excess weight. What we'll do is call this, uh, well, it's actually called weight distribution. So what we're doing now is we're chipping into it. And what that's doing now is distributing the weight and making it so it's even through the hair. So when the product goes in, it will create a really nice natural effect and look very, very um, balanced, which is what it's all about. We'll come back in again with a pair of scissors in a second because I want to do a little bit of chipping in there. Put as much texture in as possible really just to make it even more sort of exciting. Okay, so now we've got the basis of the shape through there. Again, just keep it moving with your fingers because you can really sort of see where everything's going, which is nice. And then what we'll do then is we'll go into the eyebrows in a second after we've been through the top. Let's just get a real pair of scissors. The last one actually going to do this with a pair of scissors now, which would be quite nice. So just chip 
through the top now. Just see what's happening. So again, it's all random. The more you turn the blade left or right is the more you take out. So we'll just go with this. And again, you can change the position with the fingers whichever way you want to go, which is nice. Someone else has joined. No, that's good. We've had a good audience tonight. It's been quite receptive, and the picture stayed on, which is great. It's good job got the code for us, don't we? <laughs> well, well, right. right, what we'll do now is we'll go around the ears with the scissors. This has, this has actually been a little bit like a hairdressing exam at Tony and Guy tonight because I've kept the clippers out of it. Yeah. Because <clears throat> again, you can sort of cheat to a certain degree, I think, with a pair of clippers, but if you do it with, <coughs> with a... Fingers must stay. Yeah, well, they don't, they don't that much, actually, because you do it for like 30 years, it yeah. becomes normal. Like running. Well, it does, it's, yeah. 30 years in October. It's just incredible how quick it goes. That's it. That's how long you've been alive. I started addressing the same year as you were born into this world. How weird is that? Yeah. <laughs> it's frightening, isn't it? Right, so now we'll just clean this up. You look younger than that, man. Jennifer Bell. Yeah. Jennifer Bell, nice to see you tonight. Hello, Jennifer. I hope you're really well. Great to see you and thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you're really well, sweetheart. You won't believe I'm actually alive in the seat that you normally have your hair cut in. So now I'm actually using real scissors just to soften this up just a little bit. We'll take that hair off there off the ear. You tend to see those growing, of course, it's catching the light as well. So let's just come round inside, Dad, and we can just show this again. The important part here is just lifting it out. I don't know if you can see that. If you lift it out, you can then just see how it all grows out of the neck and then just point cut it off. And it just gives it a real natural feel. And then if it grows the other way, bend it in the opposite way and that just takes that out as well. And again, it's just really, really different just to be able to soften it up. Again, we'll clean that up later with a pair of clippers. Right, let's just go around this part. Now you can see, just beyond the ear, there's quite a little bit there. Just use the tighter part of the comb. We're coming out towards the end of the cut. For those of you that are watching EastEnders or watching Coronation Street or eating your Chinese tonight, so really I set myself a target tonight of doing Wesley's hair as much as I could by hand because I think I wanted to showcase really the amount of skill that you can do with a pair of scissors and a comb um, and also a different way of doing it as well because I think if I just cut it with a pair of clippers and did something that you see me do a lot um, it would be the same every time and I just think that by challenging yourself is good and also relying on your product to work for you also is something that's really important because again a product has to be an important tool in the package while you're doing a haircut because again without a great tool you don't get a great look and uh, certainly with the muck products I get that effect which is really nice for me and my team right so let's just go through this part on the fringe here you just need to bring the camera over here Dad, if you can so just while just going to the fringe <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now is just use the wild part of the comb again, lift it up and then just really scissor over comb this piece out and then what we're going to do then is just point that in so it looks a bit more natural. Again, use the mirror for this just to look at and make sure that everything looks good because again it's really important. Well while we've got you there, let's do the eyebrows. Stuart Pratt. Stuart Pratt, great to see you with us tonight, I hope you're really well Stuart. Thank you for joining us tonight. Disco on there, it's good. Congratulations as well. He's just got married. So I'm guessing he's either on his honeymoon with his beautiful wife or he's uh, back in the UK. Right, now just comb the opposite way. One of my fellow members, when we were in the uh, Spartans together, I think it was the Spartans. Jennifer Hirons. My next door neighbour. Good evening, how are you sweetheart? Nice to see you with us tonight. You see I'm walking all right. Mm. A bit better than yesterday when I shouted to you over the garden fence. You can hardly walk. Nice Laura. to see you with us sweetheart, you're well. You were worse to me. Laura, well it's always good to uh, flash at you in the morning with the car headlights. Hope you're well sweetheart and thank you so much for your support and your very kind words as well with the marathon. I really appreciate your support and uh, 
you're writing some nice things, thank you. Right, so now we've got the basis of the cut, so we're going to come into the last part now, the pair of clippers. Again, on this part, we're looking to just finish off before we use the, uh, the product, last product. So what we'll do now is we'll just come around the sides, light scissor over comb, but we're going to just go with the, the, uh, the comb for a change, rather than a guard. Again, it's an alternative, so I'm just trying to use as many alternatives tonight as I can, just to keep it interesting. That's it. So we've got side one there, which <coughs> nicely fades in there. This part, you push the hair up slightly, which creates the hair long. Take your underneath hair away. I do this quite a lot on guests. They sort of see me doing this, they comb it down, and then use the edge of the blade really just to nudge that up and soften the line out. And what that'll do now is just give it a real nice soft effect. Wait till you see this one back on playback. You'll find that really quite mm. interesting. And again, as we just come up here, just take off any underneath hair and then really just soften that up just through there so it's a bit more natural. This last part here, you can see all that under there. Use the comb really as two things to hold the hair and also as a guide because you want to be able to make sure that everything sits really, really well with it. And again, it's just really important to be able to create that shape, which is what it's all about. And then by using the angle of the blade as you're doing this, it just keeps the line soft. And then if there's anything that you can see that really doesn't work, you just have a little look there and then just take a little bit of that off there as well. And then just go over the ear with it, coming through this side. If there's anything else that can be taken away just to keep it clean, you just take that through there and just keep it nice and clean and it. And really that is about it. We're about at the very end of the cut. It's incredible just how quick it goes, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. But you think that as well. Yeah. Hopefully it wasn't too much of an ordeal for you. <laughs> no, the first time you came was probably an ordeal. <laughs> That's it. Well, let's just make sure. Jane Sully. Jane Sully, great to see you. I hope you're really well, Jane. I hope your mother's really well too. Nice to see you. I hope you're well. Good to see you on there tonight. Some people do actually think when they join and then look, get mm. the names crossed. Like, <laughs> How can you see me? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> okay, let's just blow the excess hair off. So it's good to get rid of any excess hair. Okay, let's just remove this for you. That's it. See, there's paper towel placed in there earlier on. Again, that's really important. Just get the brush. Another little trick for you. Put the hair dryer on. Heat up the brush. And it creates like a static effect, and what it does is it grabs the hair as it does it, and then just takes it off, a bit like the old talcum powder many years ago. Mm -hmm. But this is just a newer version of it. Okay, so now we're going to use another product to finish off with tonight. Again, we'll keep it to a three product wardrobe tonight. We'll be using the hard muck. So again, it's quite a nice thick product, just take enough to go on the finger. And then what we do then is, Evenly distribute it all over the hands. Now you warm the product up, what we're doing with it is looking to bring out as much texture as possible. So we're gonna go through the sides first, through the top, and then use the back of the hand with the remainder part of the product that collects there to flick the fringe out. So again, a lot of people say, oh, I'll get it stuck all over the steering wheel. That's because what happens is it collects on the back of the hand. So you can actually use that to uh, work for you if you think about it when you're styling the hair. So move it around, look at it in the mirror. You're looking for really the way it goes and the way it wants to go. Remember, there's a lot of texture in here. So let's just bring it over to the way it goes. Tracy mate. Bond. Tracy. Bond. Nice to see you with us tonight, Tracy. I hope you're really well. Thank you for joining us tonight. And again, just flick that off with your hand and then that just gives it enough product to hold it and give it some scoop. Now, what will happen is, when you're looking at it, you'll sort of see little pieces when you stand from the back. So I'd suggest that when you're doing this, that you look at um, the hair cut from the back as you would when you're cutting it. What will happen is, because we're pushing a lot of hair over to one side, you will find in the corner, there's a little bit of hair. So let's just bring the camera around this side and we can see. And what happens is, it's just a minutest little area just through the side. They probably see on the angle, there's just a little bit of hair just collecting on there as we're pushing it over. Good HD on that, so 
Well, let's just bring this up just there. Then what you do then is lift it up, take that off. So if you imagine you're pushing hair over to one side, and obviously it's got to go somewhere with the weight distribution. So the easiest thing to do is to actually sort of see how it just collects and how it looks, and then just take it off. Now look in the mirror again just to make sure that looks balanced and I'd say we're about there with the balance. We've nearly got the thumbs up. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll take the gown. Thank you. If you'd like to step up for me, that's it. Right, let's just go through it again. Give us a little twirl, this is your moment now. Oh, I'll just get you, that's it. Let's give us a little twirl round. Okay, so under the light, let's talk about how we started with Wesley's hair. So let's just come on this one minute, we just need the back, thank you. Right, so we applied Fat Mutt Blowout Mousse all the way through the hair. After shampooing his hair with the, uh, um, the Styling Shampoo, which creates the, te the texture in there, we put that through first. And then we put the Fat Mutt Blowout Mousse through afterwards. And then what we did then was we went through with a real, real strong cut all the way through at that angle with the thumb that leads. We then replicated that with the other side and went through there, which created the foundation for the shape all the way through because we needed it angular and we needed it strong. We then went through a middle parting and went back through again and replicated that shape to pass through the parietal ridge and the recession area to again keep that nice and clean. We then went through the top from the apex through to the upper occipital bone, which was the rounded effect, which if you look at it all the way through is rounded. We then went through with the stroking technique which was flicking the blade, which then made hair sit nice and natural and thickened it out a bit so then it looked very, very finished off just through there. We then came through the top part and used channel cutting, but rather than cutting through at that way of a channel cut, we went through at an angle, which now you can see creates that natural effect which makes it want to bend on its own. A nice alternative to a parting, which some people would go for a parting or no parting, this is a great way of doing it. So we went through that way all the way through, angled, this side we came through straight, we replicated the opposite way to then create a softer effect with texture, thinning scissors through the top and use a razor blade. The secret with the razor blade was we were using the reverse cutting technique which then gave us even more texture and put lots of texture through it. We then used the thinning scissors to create with the bend to create that fringe to make it so that that sat nicely into the rest of the cut otherwise what you tend to get is a tinting effect where you just get a front that just flicks up and the rest of the cut doesn't blend together. We then came back into it after the blow dry and went through with scissor over comb. Now you'll see at this angle you should really see the strength of that cut. You've got a real strong angle cut but also you've got a lot of texture in there which is nice and natural looking. So went all the way through the whole of it with thinning scissors then use electronic clippers with a comb through there, soften the line out and took you underneath there off through here, did the eyebrows and then paying special attention to that's what I told you. Special attention to any weight that catches on this side because as I said earlier on you tend to get a lot of weight on the sides just through there. So we then use the um, hard muck to blow dry in and we also use the hard muck to finish up with. I'm sure you'll agree that um, Wesley's hair has turned out really, really well tonight. Thank you very much, Wesley. Thank you. I appreciate that you just double me now rather than sit down. It's cool. <laughs> right, so thank you very much for all of you that have watched tonight. It's always a pleasure, like I say, to be able to um, create magic like this. And um, I couldn't do it without the model, so thank you so much. I really appreciate you giving the time and also, yeah, tonight for the viewers. Also, many thanks to our product sponsors tonight, uh, Worldwide Global Company, Muck, because again, you get the pleasure of seeing how the product works. And again, uh, thanks to Dad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice to see you on there tonight. Hope you're really well. Woo! Hope you're really good. I did have a second gate analysis. You told me to have a second gate analysis. I had a second one, so thanks for that advice. Really appreciate it. So it's always a pleasure to be able to do this, to work with the products and work with great models as well. We're going to go in a moment and do some photos, which you will see as viewers at home later. We'll be back again next week with um, Charlotte Anne. We're going to do Charlotte Anne's hair um, before I go away on a sailing holiday around the Isle of Wight. So we thought we'd sort of put that one in there for you as well. Um, and then what we'll do is again showcase how the products work on a lady's haircut. Um, if you'd like me to teach your team, by all means follow me on Scott Belly Cutting Education on Facebook and invite me to your salon and I'll teach your team what we do here. Or alternatively, you can bring your team to the salon. But uh, certainly it's been a pleasure tonight to be able to entertain you and also to hopefully teach you some things and hopefully people around the world have enjoyed themselves watching. It's always a pleasure to be watching and it's always a pleasure to be performing but thank you so much for being part of it and making these special with the art. Wesley tonight was model number 30.
and uh, you know, nearly a year, it's fantastic, and we couldn't do it without you, the viewers. So on behalf of Wesley, and myself, and my dad, thanks very much, good night, God bless, ciao, night. have a great weekend.